Okay, today's lesson, we are going to cover circles, section 10.3 out of our book. And um, this should be a really easy lesson because y'all hopefully covered this last year in geometry. So to refresh your memory, a circle is a set of all points equidistant from a given point called the center. And that doesn't say center. The distance r is the radius of that circle. So that distance that is the same, equidistant from that point, that distance, of course, is your radius. And the standard form is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Okay? Um, same old, same old, y'all. We have the same h, k. h is that horizontal movement. k is the vertical movement. And um, that's when our center is moved off of the origin. So what kind of questions will you have to be able to answer? What is an equation of the circle with a center of 5, negative 2, and a radius of 8? So this is your h. This is your k. And as we've had all the times before, whenever it's in the parentheses, it's the opposite of what it looks like. So my equation is going to be x minus 5 quantity squared plus y plus 2 quantity squared, because it's minus a negative 2 quantity squared, equals 8 squared. And you would simplify that. So x minus 5 squared y plus 2 squared equals 64. And yes, I'm okay if you don't write that first line out. But just so you know where it's coming from. Okay? Next, what is the equation for each translation? So I had a circle that was centered at the origin, and now it has been moved left five units, so that's going to affect my h, because that's horizontal, and down k units. Okay? Now left, okay, remember, so left is minus 5, but when you put that in there, it's going to be, this is part a, x minus negative 5, or as we've talked about, it's the opposite of what it looks like. So we know plus 5 means to the left. And then y minus a negative 3, because we're going down, equals 1. And that's all you got to do. Alright, look at B. Uh, right, again, is my h horizontal movement, and k is my vertical movement, so this time I'm going to have x minus 2 quantity squared plus y minus 3 quantity squared equals 9. I wasn't paying attention to the question. Good. So that is one that has been shifted to the right and up. Alright, continuing. What is the equation of a circle for a circular irrigation field that has a radius of 12 and a center of 7, negative 10. Nothing's changed. So again, x minus 7, because this is my h, this is my k, x minus 7 quantity squared plus y minus negative 10 quantity squared equals 12 squared, which is 144. Okay. So you're wondering, I'm sure, when it's going to get a little bit harder. If we're getting there. <laughs> what are the center and radius of the circle with the given equation? All right, so start off with A. Okay, so we're going backwards with what we did. X plus 8 means my center is going to be negative 8, because it's the opposite of what we see in that parentheses. Negative 8, negative 3. And my radius is the square root of 121, which is 11. So that answers part A. Now let's look at part B. And to do part B, all right, I have to take this equation and get it into this form. And so how are we going to do it? With your most favorite process, and that is completing the square. So we're going to group our x's together. So I'm going to write x squared minus 6x. And then I'm going to have to add something. And then I have y squared plus 14y. And I'm going to add something equals 8 is over here and whatever I add right here I've got to add to both sides of the equation 
and then what I'm going to add here, I'm going to put in that blank. So, as we have done this before, we're going to take half of 6, which is 3, squared, and then over here, I square it out. Half of 14 is 7, and 7 squared is 49. So now, when I go to factor this, it makes my factoring easier, because I just have to, I'm going to have something squared. I take this without the exponent, this without the exponent, and this sign. X minus 3 quantity squared plus Y and 7 and plus, so Y plus 7 quantity squared. And I have to add 8 and 9 and 49, and that gives me a total of 66. So, to answer the question, what is the center? The center is 3, negative 7, and my radius is the square root of 66. And that can't be simplified, so you are good to leave it like that. That's just 6 times 11. No perfect squares or factors. All right, last one. What is the graph of x minus 4 quantity squared plus y plus 2 quantity squared equals 49? So to do this, you need to first find your center, and your center is 4, negative 2. And your radius is 7. So I'm going to go to 4, negative 2, and put my center. And then I'm going to count. Okay, so to, to draw my circle, I'm going to look at you're going left and right 7 and up and down 7. Okay, so left 7 is going to be over here at negative 3. Up 7 is going to be at 5. Over 7 is 11, which is just one past. And then down 7 will be at 9. And then do your best to make it look like a circle. And I think um, I have asked y'all, just make sure you know that all of these are curves. And these curves um, don't have any sharp edges. So just do your best to make it look like a circle and not have any points on it. And that is all we have about circles. So I hope you, if you have any questions, please email me or come see me. Thank you very much.